Hello, and welcome to this exciting episode of Backyardia Food Science. My name is Jesse, and today we have a challenge letter. It reads, thank you for the potato wedges recipe. You're welcome. It has changed my life almost as much as my BMI. Thankfully, we are wearing office chairs tight around the hips these days. I have a casserole sample from an unspecified relative that lacks a je ne sais quoi. Do you have a secret ingredient that we can add to salvage this dish? With much anticipation, anonymous, undisclosed location. Well, anonymous, thank you for writing that beautiful, beautiful poetry. Big fan. As for your casserole, on the other hand, I do have an ingredient we can add to make this better. I like to call it, launch that dish into the fire. Yes, yes, it's me again. Well, what is it this time? Well, you did a video and you didn't explain what the firebirds were. People know what firebirds are and how they work. You had a poll asking new recipe or what happened to the MacBook. And here you are, not even a real recipe in hand and no explanation about the laptop. It's a laptop, how complicated can it be? Explain the Firebirds correctly and what happened to the laptop. Coincidentally, you know that they're kind of in the same vein. I can't really explain them, I'm out. Ooh. yeah, here you go. Well, so this is a Firebird uh, reactive target. You can kind of think of it as tannerite in a discrete package. It is uh, technically a flare. It's, it's meant to have a little adhesive back, so you take it, stick it on something, and then shoot it, and then it adds a little more uh, pop to it. The original owner of the laptop uh, originally brought it uh, to the Mac store to have it fixed because it quit working uh, very shortly after the warranty expired. Go figure. We don't have the footage of that interaction, but we did recreate it very exactly uh, right here. Tech support ain't fixing this one for us. Excuse me, sir, but the uh, computer's too old. We're not fixing this. <laughs> I'll have to get a new one. after we shot the pumpkin underneath it had a cool effect and then we decided to find out if you got on daryl's bad side would a macbook protect you from a crossbow the important questions should you be set upon by crossbow wielding bandits will a macbook serve as a suitable shield let's find out sleep tight data chip no no it would not Lastly, we decided to mag dump into it, uh, but before we did, we put a couple of these in the keyboard and made a little uh, laptop Firebird sandwich. Whoa. Um, just a word of warning, if you do decide to sandwich these into your laptop, uh, be prepared to deal with any shrapnel stand a good distance away with hearing protection. Anyway, um, hope to deal with another recipe soon. That's what happened to the laptop. Uh, let's cut to the outro. Thanks for watching. chip on my shoulder. I say differently.